So at the flea in Newington picked up um, Nintendo Power number 36. The one with Felix the Cat, which I believe is number 40, which I didn't have. And uh, Mega Man 2, I guess it's July to August 1989. I also got Dragon Warrior for four bucks. Castlevania for four bucks. And then uh, Game Shark for three bucks. So that's a great deal. Spend 16 altogether. Later. At Savers, this is when you know you collect way too much stuff. It's just the NBA Ballers beat. It's the Spalding Edition, I guess. It's eight bucks. Later. At the Savers, just got um the Collector's Edition for Zelda for seven ninety nine. Spyro, Dungeon Dragon, a couple of GameCube games. All together for two ninety nine. Later. At the pawn shop right here, just games that I usually don't see, so I picked them up. I don't think they're that expensive. Um, J Stars versus The Walking Dead um, Limited Edition and Xenoblade Chronicles, and all three were ten bucks. Later. At the Salvation Army, just got a, a rock candy. 360 controller and a PS3 one for I think 535 for both later at the tax sale way up there just picked up NBA GM turn it NBA GM 2001 for Five bucks. Later. And the tax sale over here just picked up an N64 for 10 bucks. The only reason why I picked it up is it has an expansion pack, so that's an easy 25. And the garage sale back there just picked up this for 10 bucks just because it has Super Mario Bros. 3 inside, so it should be easy money. Later. At a garage sale over there. I'm moving it fast because I don't want people to see me. I picked up an SNES with four games. A DS with a few games. A Nintendo with like 13 games. And all together was 70 bucks. Which is not a bad deal. The power pad was also included. So not a bad deal. Later. At the sale over here. I just picked up um, Animusha 1 and 2. Um, Future Cop and the Simpson Wrestling, which is hard to find, so I'm happy to get that one. Later. Alright guys, so here are my pickups for the last week or so. As always, we'll do flea markets, thrift stores, garage sales, and everything in between. Again, we'll move as fast as we can. It was a good week. I was able to pick up a lot of stuff. Not a lot of expensive stuff, but the stuff that I needed for my collection and stuff that I can kind of flip and get more stuff for my collection. So, we'll get started right away at a garage sale. Picked up this N64 with expansion pack for 10 bucks. The expansion packs will sell for at least, at least 26, 27 bucks. And another garage sale picked up NBA Jam 2001 for the Game Boy Color. I think it's a reseal, but even this game complete by itself, complete, is maybe 20 to 25 bucks. At a garage sale, picked up Aminusha 2 and 1. I also picked up Future Cup LAPD and the Simpsons Wrestling. I never seen this game before. It's not that expensive, but it's kind of hard to find. And for all those four, I paid five bucks at a Goodwill. Picked up Big Old Bass 2. I never seen this game before, and I think it's somewhat uncommon. And I paid two bucks for that at the Flea. 
picked up um, Dragon Warrior 1 and 2, Castlevania Circle of the Moon, with manual, uh, a Nintendo Power, I believe that one is 36 with Darkwing Duck, one with Mega Man, and this one I really like is the Felix the Cat, and I also picked up a Game Shark for the Game Boy Color, and together I paid 30, 16 bucks. The Game Shark sold for 30, Castlevania and the manual sold for 25, I believe. Um, Dragon Warrior is like an $18 game. And obviously I'm gonna get to keep the Nintendo Powers. At Savers, picked up Spyro the Dragon. They were all in one bag. Tag 2, Sonic Unleashed, Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. And sell that the collector's edition, which goes for about 40 to 45 bucks these days. And for those I paid, I believe, like nine bucks. So that was a real good deal there. At a garage sale, picked up this NES in really good shape. Um, it actually had Super Mario Bros. 3. And for that, I paid 10 bucks. At my wife, find a Sabres, I believe she found Batman. Rise of Shinsu, and I believe, yep, $2.99 for that, and it's in really good shape. At Pawn Shop, picked up The Walking Dead Telltales, <laughs> Telltale series. I picked up J All Stars, or J Stars Versus, which I didn't, I don't see much. And for the first time, I've seen this game at a Pawn Shop, Sino Blade Chronicles. And for those three, I paid 10 bucks. Uh, the Salvation Army got this Rat Candy Xbox controller and a PS3 controller. And for those two, I paid $5.99 for that. At a, another Salvation Army, this is very unusual. I picked up Call of Duty. This is the Zombies Chronicles edition. This game goes for about $25, bucks and I actually just sold it for $25. Bucks. I paid $2.99 for that, and I also picked up Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Both of them were sealed, by the way, and for this one, I also paid $2.99, so a very, very good deal there. Garage sale, I was able to pick up everything that you were about to see. I believe I paid altogether $70, bucks. so this is what I got. A pink DS inbox. This is the actual system. Came with, for some reason, it came with four PAL games. Big Brain Academy. Polly Pets. Hamsters 2. Peppa Pig. Again, these are PAL. You can see by the little green right there. And the only American game or US game is New Super Mario Bros. That's part of the deal. I also picked up an NES with a whole bunch of games. I believe it's close to 20 games. Um, the games, actually I showed the NES first. The NES was kind of yellow, but it's working and I tested it and it works correctly. So that's that. I picked up with that Excite Bike, Tetris, Wheel of Fortune, Kung Fu, Another Tetris, Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, TNC Surf Designs, Jeopardy, Star Voyeur, Mario Bros., California Games, RC Pro Am, Double Dragon 2. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Super Mario Bros. 2, and Super Mario Bros. 3. The three games that I didn't have that I get to add to my collection are Talking Super Jeopardy, which I thought I had, but I didn't. Off-Road. And Road Blasters. I also picked up an SNES. I should say I also picked up a Power Pad with that. And the sapper for that so I picked up also Super NES Donkey Kong Country 
Super Mario Bros. Mario Kart. And Super Mario All Stars. And all that was like 70, 75 bucks. A real good deal there. Mario Kart should sell for at least 20. Um, All Stars these days is going for about 15. Donkey Kong is maybe a $10 game. And Super Mario World is actually maybe a $14 game. So that's a good deal there. And then I got the pickup of the week. This was an offer up deal. I basically he wanted 60 bucks for a whole like five different boxes, but I just wanted these two. They have the foam and they have everything they need inside. And I paid 25 bucks for this, so which is not bad. So as you know, I'm a big N64 collector, and I would like to get anything I can get for the N64 in box. So I was able to pick this up. I think in the clip I said offer up, but I do believe it was Facebook. Um, I was able to pick up the green box for the controller for the N64, obviously. I already put a, a controller in there. Like I said, I'm trying to get every single variant box that I can get. And for some reason, the other thing that I could never find was the this variant, which is the, basically the easiest one to find, you would think. But this is in really good shape. The, the, the form is in really good shape. Like the whole thing has instructions, has everything. The box is exactly how I wanted it. I already have the box for the gold N64 controller. I have it for Pikachu. I have it for the jungle green. I have a whole bunch of them. But basically, I, for some reason, I could never find this one in good shape. So I'm very happy to pick that up. The week was a really good week. Able to get things to add to my collection. Stuff that I can buy cheap and I can sell and make some money to get me more stuff. And of course, I was able to pick up the N64 boxes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully, we will see you all next week. Later.